I'm here again with Chris, the Idaho painter, and they're gonna start painting my house today. The first order of business is prep work. Where do we begin? The biggest thing is just to look for any place where there's paint that's peeling or not in sound condition. Typically do a lot of caulking just of cracks and gaps and stuff because that's where bugs and right. get in your house. And So really it sounds like the, the painting is kind of the quickest part of the job, but I don't it, know. It is. The painting's actually the easiest part. Yeah. The prep is, is what takes the longest. Right. Well, it would be interesting to see the process. Yep, here we go. <laughs> yeah, it's what we call a paint eater. And this thing has got a different type of disc than just a random orbit sander or a grinder. This is a disc that's designed to actually just grind and feather out chipped and peeling paint. You want to get whatever's you know gonna come off and come off you know easily and then that the paint eater will actually just grind and feather the edges down smooth to the rest of it that's on there and bonded on there well. Then we're gonna prime over the top of that with a product called Peel Bond, and that will glue the edges of what's still bonded onto your wood. So you don't have to get it all the way down. You don't to have to drive wood. yourself crazy trying to get off no. every, every last piece of no. paint. Cool. Yeah. So we'll, now we're gonna caulk this thing, and then we're gonna prime it with Peel Bond. Some homeowners will make the mistake of caulking with 100% silicone caulking, which is not paintable, and once you do that, you've created a real disaster for yourself. So you definitely want to use a caulking that is paintable, and it'll tell you right on the caulking tube whether it's paintable or not. So this is what we call a hand masker, and this is every painter's best friend right here. If you're a professional painter, and even if you're just gonna paint yourself as uh, your own home as a do-it-yourself or inside now, you've gotta have one of these things. And it just holds a roll of tape, and it holds either a roll of paper or plastic, and it just adds, actually adds the, the tape to the paper, and then you can tear it off so you can mask things really, really. So now we got a roll of what we call the 3M masking film, the plastic. And this is what we actually use to mask the windows off. And instead of using paper, this is a lot faster. and It'll actually cover, it unfolds out to 72 inches long. And you can buy it in different widths and different lengths, but we typically always use a 72. So this is a pretty simple issue for us. We're just gonna take some nine by 400 plastic. This is really inexpensive plastic. I'm gonna tie this, wrap it back, and I'm gonna take a screwdriver, stake it in the ground, and that way I can pull it away so we can just get back here easily and spray. What happens is you don't want to see the old paint where mm -hmm. you paint so we want to just take it down about an inch and then after we paint and the paint dries we'll just backfill the dirt back up so you'll you'll have a nice clean line and you won't see the old paint uh, Titan 1140 airless sprayer and it just gives us the ability to you know, spray faster and use longer hoses, but you know, the average homeowner would jack actually just use an airless sprayer, typically a lot smaller. There's a, a little one that you'll be seeing us use out here to do the garage doors and stuff. It's a Titan 440. But these airless sprayers are what get the paint on extremely fast versus just brushing and rolling your house, which you just gotta keep dipping your nap or roller into paint. So here we can just apply it extremely fast. We're looking for areas like hairline cracks and little pinholes and stuff. And by taking back what we're calling it, it's called it back rolling, that's gonna push it into those hairline cracks and help fill those gaps and little pinholes up a lot better. The sprayer won't do that alone. You gotta actually back roll it. Well, I hope this video it was helpful to you in some way. It was great having Chris out to visit and to paint the whole house. I think he and his crew, two guys, painted this whole house in under eight hours today. It was amazing watching them work together. 
Um, so hopefully you've enjoyed the video and if you want to see some more tips and tricks how to paint your house and how to paint it fast or actually just learn how to do the proper process of painting the exterior of your home you can check out my channel the Idaho Painter. Don't forget also to subscribe to this channel Home and Garden for Mere Mortals if you haven't subscribed to this channel and leave some comments below. Steve loves to read your comments. I would love to read your comments on this video also so if you got any tips or tricks on how to paint a house or some tips and tricks that you've seen in this video video and can do it any better just let us know in the comments below thanks for coming out Chris really appreciate it thank you very much Steve for having us come out here to paint your house thanks for watching everybody we'll see you next time